I grew up in church um, and doing all the um, vacation Bible school and youth group and services and, and confirmation class, uh, but didn't really have a relationship with God. Um, and when I uh, kind of went back to church was probably you know, about 30 years later when I went with my wife, who's a strong Christian. And um, we you know, went into a church and, and I enjoyed it because it was very practical. Um, I could kind of bring my bags along with me. And, um, and the, the first rung on the ladder was pretty low, so I was able to grab that and still sit in the back of the church and, and listen to the messages. Um, I uh, felt the need to you know, start that relationship with Christ because I realized even though I'd been in church forever, um, I had no relationship with God. And when I uh, started down that road, I looked at, you know, what could I give to, what could I give to the Lord? And, you know, I knew he wanted everything. Uh, I was a little bit skeptical about that. I looked at finances. I looked at uh, worrying about my family or my grandparents or my job. And I, from my background, I decided that I would turn over finances to him. Uh, and I was a little bit worried how, how that would look. Um, and, and so I awkwardly offered it up to God. And as I started getting into that, I started realizing that what I did hand over to God was uh, really starting to take off. And, and, you know, and I started uh, basically turning it upside down. Instead of spending first and then maybe paying some bills and then spending some more and then taking care of some debts, paying some taxes, and then maybe if there's anything left over, I might give it. Um, I flipped it over entirely where, where giving was first uh, and saving was second. And, and I started to feel my spiritual life really starting to loosen up and open up. Um, and it, it gained a lot of momentum. What I realized is that you know, the relationship I wanted with Christ was always right next to me, but it was all this garbage I had in the way and a huge obstacle was money. And so as I went through this, and this was a process that took, took a, you know, several months, um, I realized I had other stuff in the way other than money as well. And, and so I was able to start getting that out of the way, whether it was jealousy or frustration or, or anger or bitterness. You know, I was able to get that out of the way and start really feeling what turned out to be the Holy Spirit filling me up. And it all started with the money side. You know, one of the, one of the kind of humbling things about it is as I, you know, got my finances in order and, and handed them over to the Lord as I thought that, uh, you know, that meant when I achieved that, that, oh, hang on, I'm going to be leaving my job. I'm going to be packing my bags. I'm going somewhere to Africa or wherever it was um, and to, to have a full-time ministry with this. And uh, it turned out not to be the case, uh, kind of abruptly so. Um, and I realized that I could do what I was doing, and that's exactly what God's plan was, is for me to do what I was doing. And, and you know, discipling, you know, based on, on my actions and my words uh, to other people that I, I had contact with and perhaps influence with. Um, and that was, that was wonderful. I mean, frankly, it was a little bit relieving too, um, because that's, that's one of the scarier parts for us back row folks is when you're you know, figuring you're going to hand over something, uh, you, you don't know what its impact is going to be on your life. And uh, it was great to learn that I didn't have any, I didn't have anything to be scared about.